It's been five months since Naughty Dog had their big media blowout in September, blessing the world with never before seen gameplay from The Last of Us Part 2. That means it's been almost as long since the company hit us with the shocking news that contrary to previous reports in the affirmative, there would be no multiplayer component in The Last of Us Part 2. This was, of course, devastating news to anyone that was a fan of Naughty Dog's past multiplayer experiences. The Last of Us Senior had an exceptional, massively underrated multiplayer game mode that did a great job of translating the game's desolate, depressing world into a tight, brutal challenge that you could share with your friends. But even though we have been hit with this depressing news, I believe that it is obvious that this is not quite the end of the story. If interviews and past statements are anything to go by, Part 2's multiplayer was deep in development long before it was removed. Naughty Dog's official announcement certainly left a lot of room for the imagination, and job listings on the company's website show that the company is still searching for talent with plenty of experience in the multiplayer arena. The signs all point to one thing. Naughty Dog is still working on something multiplayer related. Of that, we can be absolutely certain. And even though we know that The Last of Us Part 2 will not have multiplayer when it launches in May, it is still possible that Naughty Dog might be getting ready to reveal something that might be even better. The only question is, what could it be? And when will we find out about it? Today, let's take a look at some of my thoughts and predictions and see if we can come closer to a possible answer to one of the most hidden mysteries in all of gaming. Post-release updates that add multiplayer features to large, single-player focused titles is not something new to the gaming industry. We saw it with Grand Theft Auto V, when the game was released featuring only the single-player component at initial launch, with the multiplayer component arriving for the game a year later. And we will see this again with Cyberpunk 2077. CD Projekt Red's sci-fi epic will also launch without multiplayer in 2020, with multiplayer dropping sometime in the future. However, I don't think that this will be the case with The Last of Us Part 2. Naughty Dog has been very definitive in emphasizing that the game would not have any multiplayer component at all. Their statements don't claim that the multiplayer is being delayed, but that there will be zero multiplayer involved in the game whatsoever and we have zero reason not to believe them. However, we know that Factions 2 was deep in development before Naughty Dog decided to pull the plug. In fact, Former Naughty Dog director Bruce Straley has come out and said that he has played the game mode, and from what he describes, it sounds awesome. To me, it seems like, in typical Naughty Dog fashion, they have created a multiplayer experience that is too ambitious to fit the time frame needed to ensure that Part 2 launches before the PlayStation 5 hits stores, and they were forced to transform the component into its own entity that could be dropped separately. Even though we know Naughty Dog is not going to let us play a multiplayer component in their post-apocalyptic world for the time being, it doesn't mean that we won't get some news from Naughty Dog on the multiplayer front sometime soon. Which leads to my second theory. What if Naughty Dog saved what it has learned by working on Factions 2 and implements it in a new IP? We have seen how much Naughty Dog has used its past multiplayer games to influence their next offering. Uncharted 4's multiplayer, with its slower gameplay, revive system, and focus on teamwork, looks a lot more like Factions than Uncharted 3's multiplayer ever did. However, this seems unlikely to me. Of course, I am definitely far from a game developer, but I doubt it is a simple transfer job to take aspects created from one game and reinvent them to work with something else. And of course, while I would love to see Naughty Dog do something completely new, I also know that this scenario would mean that we would have the longest wait before getting to experience a new multiplayer from the company. Personally, this doesn't seem exactly likely, and I believe that Naughty Dog has another option, one that will allow them to take more time to develop their game's single player component, while also giving them time to create a multiplayer that meets their lofty ambitions. And that is the multiplayer spinoff. Imagine if Factions became its own title with its own set of unique features that allows the game to grow beyond the confines of the Last of Us universe. Naughty Dog has stated in the past how the realistic nature of the Last of Us has forced them to cut some content that didn't make sense in the world. Turning Factions into its own spin-off entity would be a great way for the company to flex its creative muscles and make the best game possible. And this makes sense with the overall world of PlayStation. Sony has already stated that they have decided to place an enhanced emphasis on multiplayer games in the coming years. 
Former Sony boss Sean Layden has been quoted stating that shared experiences will be a major point of focus for the company in the coming years, and even though he was no longer with them, I am sure that this philosophy is something that Sony has decided to maintain. And what better way to show that they are serious about this commitment than allowing one of their most popular and celebrated studios to create a flagship multiplayer game. Here's my prediction. Factions will release sometime in 2021 as a standalone multiplayer game, featuring full crossplay between the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. The game will feature several aesthetic similarities with The Last of Us, but there will be enough unique aspects to make it feel like its own thing. And Sony will back the game up with a massive marketing punch. They are looking for a huge multiplayer game to hang their hat on, and I am predicting that Factions might just be it. And that's why I believe Factions Part 2 will be a featured game during Sony's PlayStation 5 event sometime this year. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on what might become of The Last of Us Part 2 secret multiplayer mode. What do you think Naughty Dog is going to do with Factions? Will it become a standalone spinoff, or will they save the mode so it can drop it alongside a brand new game sometime in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you enjoy your day. NFG out.